Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Ninja Muffin and welcome to my channel. Today, no, I'm not doing a review. Instead, in honor of the last couple chapters of Naruto, I decided to make a video on my top 10 favorite ninja. So, let's get started. So, my number 10, of course, has got to be Rock Lee. Now, I think Rock Lee has been on quite a few other anime reviewers lists and it's just because he actually uses Taijutsu and Naruto for being a ninja anime you don't get to see Taijutsu all that much we see more ninjutsu and I love Rock Lee because he has amazing Taijutsu abilities he doesn't have chakra so he doesn't have like the abilities that everybody else has which means he has to work a hell of a lot harder to get to where he needs to be and he's very like upbeat the entire time he's an enjoyable character to watch he even got his own show and I just really like his personality I like his skill I like how much of a hard worker he is and you gotta love the bowl cut my number nine pick is actually Jiraiya now Jiraiya kind of a weird pick for a girl to have I think but even though Jiraiya is obviously a pervert he has Jiraiya has so many redeeming qualities to him He's an amazing ninja to start. He is Naruto's godfather, he, which he has done an excellent job living up to that name, despite the peeping. Jiraiya is also the only one who kind of went out on his own and was investigating the Katsuki on his own because he knew something was up. Even though he wasn't really in the village, everybody just thought he kind of disappeared writing his book, but he was actually being a spy. And then his death was probably, I think, the most monumental death in the series. I think there's a lot of build up to it. It was a great death and it hit the hearts and souls of many. So Jiraiya, my number nine. Number eight pick might be another surprising one, but it is Shikamaru Nara. Now everybody loves a smart guy, right? Well, at least all the girls do. Shikamaru is smart and he's lazy, which basically means that he's not going to want to do anything, but he's going to do it. That's a man for you. Shokamaru, he strategizes very well. He always thinks ahead. And even in situations where everybody's losing their shit, he has the brain and the calmness to just kind of keep his cool and figure out a plan. So I really love, have loved Shikamaru from the beginning just because he's cool, he's collected, but yet he still has this side of him where he's kind of like lazy. He doesn't want to do anything, but that's what makes him char his character even more lovable. So Shikamaru is my number eight. He is an amazing Konoichi in this whole Naruto series, and that is Conan. I absolutely love Conan just because, one, she has an amazing ability. She has the ability to use paper, transform her, I transform herself in paper, use it to her advantage, and that's a pretty powerful and unique ability. Two, she uses it very well. Three, she is very loyal to her cause and to her friends. Four, she is so powerful. Like, it's amazing how powerful Conan is. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Obito by herself. Mind you, she did lose the fight and she did, unfortunately, get killed by him. But she had him. She was so close. She probably came closer than anybody until the very last fight in the war that anybody had to even putting a scratch on Obito. So I think that was amazing. I love Conan. I love her ability. She's beautiful. She's talented. What's not to like about this girl? My number six pick is everybody's favorite emotional Uchiha, Sasuke. Now Sasuke, I know in my reviews I give Sasuke a lot of shit for kind of, you know, like hitting, oh my god, there's a huge spider on my chair, kill it! Well, that wasn't disturbing at all. Oh my god. Sasuke Uchiha. I know I give Sasuke a lot of shit for kind of like hitting from behind and kicking when people are down and things like that, but I do love Sasuke as a character. Sasuke's character is so well developed, you can't help but like him. He's gone through all this emotional turmoil, he's so easy, easily manipulated by others and controlled by his emotions. He's kind of like a loose cannon at times because you kind of know where he's gonna go, and then out of nowhere he kind of switches gears a little bit. Not too much, 
But enough. You never know what he's going to do. One minute he wants to destroy the village, the next minute he wants to be Hokage. But besides that, his fighting abilities are amazing. Um, Sharingan Master, period. He's also really good with the sword. I don't think anybody has mentioned that. But Sasuke does have a sword he uses occasionally. And he works that thing well. Sasuke, another amazing character. So well developed. And honestly... If it wasn't for Sasuke, there would be no point to Naruto Shippuden, just because that's kind of like the main plot ever since the original Naruto series ended, was how what's going to happen with Sasuke? Is Naruto going to get him back? What's going on? So Sasuke, good job, man. My number five pick is the second and last female on my entire list, and that has to be... Hinata Hyuga. Now at first, when the series first started in the original Naruto, I wasn't too fond of her. I knew, obviously, that they had shown that she had feelings towards Naruto, but she was kind of like weak and didn't have a whole lot of confidence. Not only, it, it was only in part two. In part two, when I actually began to really like her as a character. And not only is it because of her love for Naruto and, you know, her dedication to him, all those although those do play a factor, it's more of the fact that I think Hinata is an amazing Kanoichi in herself. I think if she gained confidence in herself, she would probably be like one of the strongest female characters in the whole show, and I still think she is, but if she gained that confidence, I think she would be able to kick some butt. So Hinata is amazing. Her willingness to kind of die for Naruto, not only because she loves him, but she believes in him. And I think that's so important because not a lot of characters in Naruto have actually believed in him since the beginning. So Hinata is my number five. So my number four pick is probably just as surprising as a few of the other ones on my list. But my number four is actually Zabuza. In the very first, first Naruto series, I really liked his character, and I think he was an excellent kind of enemy of Naruto's to really begin the show. Zabuza, demon of the hidden mist, killed all of his classmates. He found Haku, turned ha Haku into this amazing ninja at a young age. He kind of rebelled to try to kill the Mizukage, and he was just this really aggressive kind of... I'm gonna do what I want type of guy, and he even joined a gang uh, under Gato just to kind of raise funds to hopefully kill the Mizukage in the future. And um, I just think his character, when he was the first character, we really saw a complete switch in his personality because at one point he's cruel, he's nasty, he's relentless, he will do anything and kill anyone in his way. However, towards the end, once Haku is killed, he completely switches gears. And I think that was also the first one, first time where Naruto actually kind of talked, talk no jutsu somebody, I guess is what we like to call it. But Zabuza, he, once he realized how much he cared about Haku, he actually switched gears, killed all of the members in Gato's gang, and killed Gato himself, and then died next to Haku, hoping he can kind of meet him again in the afterlife. So I that's basically why Zabuza is my number four. He is freaking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. He's the man. My number three pick, probably not so surprising, is Kakashi Sensei. Every girl gotta love her some Kakashi Sensei. Kakashi is an amazing character for many of the reasons everybody likes him. He's a very likable character. He's cool, he's calm, he's collected. He is calm in really intense situations. Um, he's a master of the Sharingan. Even though he is not a descendant of the Sharingan, he still was able to master it. He has a compassion towards his teammates and his friends, which is really admirable. And not only all of these things, but he's also a little bit of a closet pervert, which is kind of weird, but it adds just that much more to his personality that makes him likable. You have somebody who's so cool and calm and collected and serious and dangerous, yet he has this kind of little fun, pervy side where he kind of has his moments of just being a man, I guess what you could say. So 
my number three, Kakashi Sensei. My number two goes to Itachi Uchiha. Now, I'm actually surprised Itachi's not on a lot of other uh, lists that I have seen. I think Itachi is an amazing character because he's strong, he's humble, I mean, and he does what he needs to do, basically. Itachi, I really like him as a character because he has his head set in a certain direction, he knows what he wants to do, and he's not afraid to sacrifice himself in order to get there. And he's willing to make himself look like a criminal, not only to his village, but to his little brother, just to kind of keep his home safe. And that says a lot about his character, and I personally think Itachi is probably, except for Naruto and Sasuke at their current point, the strongest character in the series, and I know a lot of people would argue with me about that because of Madara, but honestly, I think if Itachi wanted to, and if he wasn't sick, he could probably be just as powerful as Madara if he chose to be. However, Itachi didn't choose that route. He knew he was sick, he knew what he wanted to do, he knew he wanted to protect the village. So, he could be that power. I think he could be that powerful, but the fact that he chooses not to go that route also says a lot about his personality, which is why he is my number two pick. And my very last pick, my number one pick for the series, who else but Naruto Uzumaki. I know he is the main character of the series, so that kind of seems like, you know, a little bit easy to guess, but it's true. I love Naruto. I have loved Naruto since the beginning. He was the whole reason. I started watching this show, and it was because when I turned on Cartoon Network at 3 a.m., I saw this funny show with a bunch of little children running through the woods, and there was this ninja dressed in orange, and he was kind of like a little shit. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I kept watching, and the more I watched, the more I was like, I want to see what this kid's up to. And I just fell in love with his personality, just because he grew up an orphan, he grew up hated, he grew up with all this inner turmoil, yet it did not bog him down at all. Like, he still had the dreams of being recognized and being Hokage. And no matter how many times people beat Naruto down or tell him, oh, this world's not worth it, you know, you should be more depressed because you suck and, you know, whatever else he's been told, I know they haven't said those specific things, but you get what I'm saying. He's never bogged down by it. He's basically the character that says, you know what, no, that's not how things are, and I'm going to show you whether I have to beat your ass or talk no jutsu your ass, you're, I'm going to make you see the light. We're going to have a come to Jesus meeting, and you will see things my way. And I will be damned if people do not do that. Even in the very end, Sasuke was like, all right, I lost you, and Naruto's like, yeah. So I love Naruto, and not only that, but he has such a fun personality, too. He likes to play jokes, always trying to kind of get Sakura to go on dates with him. And he's so, I mean, you see the sadness in his life, but he gives off this very happy appearance, which is not easy to do. So Naruto is my number one pick. I cannot wait for the last two chapters of Naruto, and I hope you guys can't either. I'm so excited. So if you guys watched this video and liked it, please give me a thumbs up and write down in the description below who your top 10 Naruto characters are, and we will talk to you later. Bye!